Hi there everyone, it's Stephen here from Sycamore Emporium, one half of uh, Sycamore Clean and, and Clearance. Um, Claire's on a job today, I'm at home doing the eBay orders and thought I'd just pop on here because um, I've ran out of sellotape and parcel tape exactly the same time, chances of that. But yeah, I thought I'd just jump on air, um, have a bit of a recap through the week. Um, not been online for a good couple of weeks now. I've just been busy with real life work, um, a lot of domestic cleaning, end of tenancy cleaning. Um, so that side's kept us busy, and we just had the odd little um, family job as well. Um, I had a great uncle pass away a few weeks back, um, and we got called in just to um, take a few of the last items um, from a property because um, our house had just sold. Um, so uh, got rid of a lot of teak wardrobe um, sets, bits of cabinets, etc. Um, like the 1970s style. So had to put that out of trade waste. Um, but we managed to salvage a sideboard, which you might be able to see here, um, which is a nice bow front, um, sort of mahogany, I think. Uh, yeah, sideboard. Um, apparently it's been in the family for about 100 years. Um, doesn't quite fit in with our decor, um, just brought it in, we had space here, um, yeah, we just brought it in here for safety and to make sure there's no damage coming to it, but I think potentially it's going to go into an auction, which incidentally we'll do a video about maybe in the next couple of weeks, because um, yeah, we've got quite a few sort of big items of furniture and just a few other items that maybe are just best to sell in a real life auction so we'll probably take them two keys um but yeah we picked up the sideboard and we got a uh rollator walker like disability aid or out for the elderly like walker um four-wheeled walker i'll put a picture up here um from the website i think it's around about the 200 pound they go for on the website ebay one for sale new other um, 135, 139 plus a tenner postage, round about that. Um, so it's, yeah, new other, 135, um, and that's it. This is Careco as well, um, quite a popular brand, well, they are around our way. Um, but yeah, it folds up, could go in quite a tall box and be posted. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this for around about 99.99, um, obviously used but it is in really good condition um so yeah i'm hoping we can get around that might put best offers and a tenner postage or something as well um but yeah got a draft set up for that need to take that upstairs we've got nice leds in a room um get that all snapped and pictured and uh that draft finished and published on ebay um but yeah hopefully get 100 quid ish for that um, but don't hold me to it, these things will go up and down. Um, we also got a uh, like bath step as well. I think again this was Careco. I'll put a screenshot of the listing up on here. Um, have seen these particular ones sell. They like stackable, like non-slip bath steps. Um, I had seen one of those sell for $19.99. So we're going to try and see if we can aim for the $19.99 maybe put a best offer on that again um quite a light plastic step um pretty much unbreakable um so yeah we'll be looking for around about 19.99 14.99 fiver postage something like that um and last but not least was a bath backrest as well and um, so it's like a mesh kind of folding frame that you put into a bath um obviously people are finding it hard to support themselves into a bath or while they're in the bath can use it um i think claire done a bit of research on this a few nights ago um while i was doing other listings and i think she said that come in about 20 to 30 pound maybe for the bath backrest um again i'll see if i can get a listing up on here if i get an edit in time um we also got asked only a few days ago now to do a domestic cleaning customer um, or buy a domestic cleaning customer if we could clear a few items from our garage. Um, this is one of Claire's, let's say, customers. Um, 
So we arranged a few days later to go round there and take a few items from the property. And she goes, just take it. You know, if there's no charge, take it away. Whatever you don't want, then um, just please can you give it to charity or throw it away if it's no good. Um, but thankfully, most of the um, stuff that we got from her was all good, apart from a few plastic tubs that were maybe a bit too scratched. But then we got a lot of clothing, um, a couple of mobility items from there, um, books, games, DVDs, and even some nice shoes like timber and boots, etc. Um, I think there's a few Ralph Lauren shirts in there, uh, various nice sort of jumpers, super dry stuff, Adidas hoodie. Um, I think there's a few help for heroes tops in there and a green day top as well um, hoodie um, 15 20 quid for that um, and a few other rugby England stuff as well so even got one bag we've not been through yet so I'm just trying to think off the top of my head here but there was a lot of stuff a lot of clothes um, oh DC boots as well nice grey boots um, so have a look on Sycamore Emporium, um, there are a few sort of items of clothing going on there soon. Um, having a quick scan round, but, oh, and another thing we got given was an 86 piece dinner set, which again, Claire, when um, she was switched off in the evening from work, <laughs> was doing a bit of research on this. Um, when she all of a sudden sort of yelped and was like, oh my God, and um, I was like, what? She go well. These are coming out like two hundred to uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred pound for these. Um, yeah, like eighty six piece cutlery set. Um, in a nice brown leather box, quite large box. Um, let's see, is that three drawers? And I think in a lift up top. Um, load spoons, knives, everything that you need. Real posh party dinner set. Um, I can't get it. It's too big to come over here. Plus, now my luck. All the cutlery all empty out of the keyboard but i'll put a picture up here of exactly the same one that claire found um but yeah really nice dinner set seems like it's a good brand um i don't know if a claire actually checked the solds on them though so um if i find out any info i'll stick it up here but it seems like it's a good set so can we undercut people maybe and see if we can get a nice quick sale but yeah could be a good find that one um yeah like i say got a lot of dvds and games um as well so games not too great probably will go to charity dvds were sort of a few of them to go to charity any others that may be not suitable for charity um we tend to bundle them up and then sell those as um quite big bundles quite cheap for dvds um so yeah there's quite a lot of items that we've got um including some kitchen stuff as well um this is a bit of a random find in a box but this is a tea file fresh express um found this part first um admittedly and wondered what heck it was um but yeah pulled a few other items out um and then kind of come across this attachment which looked like it potentially would go to that machine and then some of these as well and um, these are like kind of cones if you like that have got slices or blades and various sized graters and um, so gather the idea is this somehow goes into the machine <laughs> and you can use it as a grater but obviously it still seemed like it was missing parts which it was we found nothing else that we thought could go to it um, so I'll put a picture up here or here um, of what it should look like but yeah it has like a plastic cone that kind of comes out here I'm gathering that that is how the attachments would fit into the machine so unfortunately that was missing can't really sell it as a working set um, Claire basically went to put it into the scrap pile um, I thought well let's just have a quick look I know Nick and Andrea have sort of said about certain kitchen products and George I think maybe as well it's just a, a, a yeah a, a good way to um, sort of recycle and reuse is by offering the actual individual parts themselves so um, long story short had a look for these online and these 
um, I was quite surprised that the actual graters, so each coloured segment, um, were selling for around about £10 to £12.99 each. So four of these, bear in mind, at £13, let's call it tenner, um, were fees. Um, so you're looking around about 40 quid, and then plus a bit of postage, I suppose, for these as well. Um, about three quid postage each. So six, 12, 40, that's 28 pound profit for that. And then if you do this one as well for about 750 for this part, um, you're gonna make four or five quid for that. So you're gonna make what, 30 quid potentially on these parts. And then this machine itself, um, 14.99 I'm thinking, five a postage. You can get the whole entire set for 25 quid. And so I'm trying to sort of be smart on my pricing if you like, because why would someone want to pay 25 quid where you could buy a whole set for that? Um, so I'm thinking if you can get this like 14.99, maybe 3.75 postage, do it for an every and bubble wrap it like hell. Um, so you get cheap postage. Um, but yeah, maybe we make a tenner from this. Um, so yeah, 40 quid touch as it, I'm making that out to be, if you would just sell these all in individual parts. So this is, yeah, the t Fowl Fresh Express. Um, yeah, come across one, couple of quid at car boot, might be worth a um, buy. Because um, at least if you've got the attachments, and um, if the machine doesn't work for some reason, you know, know the attachments, you can probably get 30 quid for those. Um, on their own so yeah pleased with that um i thought i'd like to say pop on we're now on the 8th of february um and just have a quick look at what has sold um i think because it's been just really dreary dreary and drab weather weather here in norfolk today um in the past few days um around the country um it just seemed like books have sold um quite well um like i say i'm not a bookseller by no means um, as part of our clearances that we do and it's yeah gone really well the book sale side of things um we've sold two national geographic magazines we've sold the bundles um each year um we had from 1990 to 1999 so they were set in monthly bundles of each year um so had quite a few sets of those sold some in the past few weeks sold another two um on the same day within hours of each other um but i sold the 1997 um editions and 1993 editions each in their own bundle two separate people and um, paid 24.94 um per bundle for those um so yeah put a snapshot up here um i suppose that vintage isn't you know um yeah sort of uh, national geographic magazines um, we've had thousands of these and I've still got tons in the back room that are from 1980s, 1970s, few from the 60s, Y2K, there was loads that I've got to sort through. So we'll do all right from them in the end, but it's a lot of time and effort to actually stick those into order. Um, but yeah, could end up doing all right from them. Maybe that's another video there to see how much we made from National Geographic magazines. <laughs> Is it worth buying them? Um, but yeah, we sold those two. Next up was another book, um, seven ninety nine. We got for this one, um, which was Signalman's Reflections. Uh, yeah, so seven ninety nine hardback book for that. Um, the lady that I said we done or Claire done, or Claire's domestic cleaning customer, what I just cleared a garage. Um, one thing we could just get our hands on straight away um, to picture and list on eBay was this horrible histories book set um, by Terry Deary um, so it's like a paperback book set can't remember how many was in there um, but yeah sold this one for $24.99 up on the screen here now um, it was on there less than two days I think I advertised it at night then the following day it um, started to get a few hits and the next morning it sold so 48 hours, I think, that I'd sold in. Um, but 
99 we got for that box set so it's a nice little result and um, just had an inkling that would sell quick um, because there was a lot of lot of solds um, on that particular listing um, next was a vegetable and herb expert book £3.45 um, I think we've just had that one in the garage quite a thin little book didn't cost a lot to send um, so yeah matter of a few pence profit from that one Next was another Mrs. Beaton's cookery book. Um, we got twelve ninety nine for that one. It's a quite a modern nineteen seventies reprint. Um, quite tatty. Almost gave it to our local local um, uh, Aldi store. Um, but I thought, well, yeah, let's see. Let's have a pop. I've scanned it now and had a look at solds. Um, so I've done a sell one like this, um, which had previously sold for twelve ninety nine. And mine's now sold for $12.99. Um, so, yeah, that one's actually behind us. And a lot of these parcels actually I'm talking about or orders are now behind me all ready to be shipped off. Um, including the Young Colonists, which is a late 18th century, early 19th century uh, book. Um, Tales of Zulu and Boer Wars by G.A. Hentry. Um, it's a really nice gold and green kind of hardback book. Um, antique of course um, yeah so quite a nice looking book and um, that one individually sold for 14.99 and I believe that's gone to France actually um, now we have another hardback book and um, the bloody benders by Robert H Alderman and um, first edition hardback 1971 um, this sold for 14.99 Another book, uh, Realm of Numbers by Isaac Asimov, um, a thin hardback book, and um, 1969, um, that sold for 750, I think. Um, another book we've had this for absolutely yonks um, is a massive thick pharmacopoeia. I can't pronounce that. There it is. Um, but it's a real big, thick book, 1972, probably had it for about a year, or 14 months. Um, but it was a good book and stop all the other books falling over. But yeah, I might miss it now. But yeah, £6.50 we got for that book. And that's going to cost me probably about fiver to send it. So I'm not really making anything from that other than space in a, um, on my bookshelf. Um, but it's been recycled, which is what we do. Um, this one next is a Bosch AL450 DV battery charger, NICAM, NIC, yeah, NICAM, the CAD, NICAD, and sort of batteries um, for portable drills and stuff. Um, it's a 14.4 volt charger. Um, we got absolutely tons of these from a clearance that we've done last summer. That was our biggest job that I never ever filmed but but yeah, that's um, a huge job from a hoarder's house. Um, and we got loads of um, battery chargers, Bosch, DeWalt, all the top, well, you know, the top end medium range stuff, if that make any sense. So, you know, well branded, good, well known branded sort of um, equipment. Um, but this particular charger, um, I happened to find a battery for put it on charge, left it for a few hours, and it charged the battery up fine on a drill that I found to match as well. So knew the charge worked, um, which I put that up for sale for $14.99, um, plus a fiver postage, or around about a fiver postage. So that sold for $19.94. Um, but like I say, we've got two or three like bread crates full of these sort of battery chargers, drills, and batteries. So there's a lot to actually go through and sort out wires tangled and everything. But, you know, um, I had come across another one. I need a list. I think that was 40 quid that was selling for. So um, there'll be a few hundred pounds worth of these, you know, secondhand pre-owned um, battery chargers. If yours is packed up, but you've got a trusty drill, ideal replacement. Um, now we have some uh, seven books set by Arthur Mee. And this is like a popular science set book um, kind of knowledge. Um, this is Antique 1913. Um, yeah, one to seven volumes. Um, quite tatty condition. Um, 
for their age you know they're 100 years old typical vintage books but good um, shelf fillers um, so seven of those sold for 29.92 including postage um, so I oh no they are actually UK um, so yeah they're gone nice seven books off the shelf and 20 quid in the back pocket for those um, these are vintage BP oil dusters as well previous video of the garage clearance one which I might be able to link up here as well um, we got a load of these dusters and uh, still got quite a few left um, I think I've got 24 left sold a few um, but we sold a pair of these um, for £8.70 plus postage so that's ten forty eight in total for two dusters um, so you should see what three quid each profit on those um, and we'd sold the uh, or another book here which is the tutorial trigonometry book um, this is 1904 antique kind of mathematics books and we got loads of them um, in my eBay store you'll see quite a few individual ones that are priced up higher and they are rarer um, but this particular one I nearly didn't list because I think I had one sold for 12 99 so I almost put it into the bundle of mathematic books I want to sell um, later on um, or I did list later on um, but I think because I had already kind of clicked on sell one like this there was a draft sort of sat there so I took a couple of snaps in the light box um, 12 99 best offers and following day £10 offer came through so I accepted it not knowing that it was the chap who bought the popular science books had actually purchased this trigonometry book so um it could go into the same box dpd next day delivery which is over there um labeled up ready for him to get uh, get that hopefully tomorrow um so yeah nice little sale that got a tenner for that one and then a sale that came through um literally this morning so a couple of hours ago so i need to get this book from the garage and um, this is miss beaten book of household management um anyone who's watched my previous videos see that i talk about these a lot um you know uh, mrs beaton's books are quite you know good good sellers if you can pick them up cheap enough that is um but yeah they do sell really well um this particular book sold for 14.99 um including postage it was an 89 edition, so a, quite a modern reprint. We had had three of those, including this one, in total, um, around the 80s. Um, I think two previous ones sold for 17.99. This one's now sold for 14.99, being a slightly older version in the late 80s. But nevertheless, three lots, uh, two lots of 17.99, 36. And 15 quid, 51 pound just for three modern reprinted um, Mrs. Beaton books. So uh, keep your eye out for them. Quite heavy and chunky though, so they're going to cost you a good fiver to send those. Um, but any of the older editions, again, check out my previous video to this, where I um, talk about um, some of these vintage antique Mrs. Beaton books that you can get 49 99 75 quid even a hundred if it's a print certain printed version but yeah check out the other video um but that boat caps it all off um so it's yeah not been a hugely um you know sort of profitable week in some senses um we've been busy <laughs> doing um you know our normal work um collecting items this is just the sort of stuff that's just trickle through without really even trying and some people wait and maybe two days after dispatch date um, for them to be dispatched but i then do make it up with quicker postage so i know i'm killing my own profit um but it's just hard to do business stuff and be a reseller um as well as accountant web designer and youtuber am i a youtuber i am i'm here but you know what I mean, it's just hard to cram everything in, so it's all just trickled through a little bit this week, nothing huge, um, but we've got 
quite a lot of um, sort of stock um, come in, um, which hopefully should start making up for maybe this slightly, slightly slow week. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting a few of these items up, especially this um, cutlery set box. Um, see if we can get 200, 300 pounds for that. Um, I'll obviously let you guys know um, in a future video. Um, but yeah, it's time to get less than. Time to get less than. We're kind of really, yeah, smashed quite a lot of our old stock. Um, it's online. There's always more to do. But we'll see how we get on. Um, and like I say, update you guys in the next few weeks. But really, really do appreciate those that have subscribed already. If you haven't, please kindly do. Um, it's just helping our small little channel take off. Um, it's nice getting a few little messages on Insta, which you can see in the uh, description below. Um, and Twitter as well. I'm thinking about getting a Facebook group up, but that's giving me more stuff to do. Isn't it? But check out the links below. Um, maybe even send us a comment below. Um, how are you finding business at the moment? I think books are kind of selling really well. Sat beside the fire at night or nice cosy bed reading a book. It just seems like books are sold really well. And by no means am I a full-time bookseller. I sell a lot of them, but we do sell a bit of everything. So I'm hoping I'm educating you lot. Um, you'll take it all in, absorb it all. Um, if you see a few of these little items pop up, at least maybe you know what you can kind of get for them. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Really appreciate the subscribers at the moment. If you haven't, please click the subscribe below. Give us a like on the way out and remember hit that notification bell because next time I bring out a video you should get a notification on your phone or tablet or computer. Um, but yeah, really thanks ever so much again guys. Um, I enjoy doing these now and hope to see you soon with a few more videos. Alright, take care.